and Tamsin Outhwaite recently returned to the EastEnders cast just as the botched New Year's Day heist kicked off. Her teen son Hunter is set to arrive in Walford next week, but there's just one piece of the puzzle missing. Steve Owen Martin Kemp Steve was supposedly at off 16 years ago when a showdown with arch-nemesis Phil Mitchell Steve McFadden went wrong. The heartthrob was last seen in his car which exploded after a high-speed chase. In his final scenes, Steve was spotted screaming at Phil to help get him out, but it was too late. Although the character has been head off, lifelong viewers are adamant that producers bring the hunk back, and anything can happen in so planned right. One person tweeted, Right, if you can bring Dirty Den back from the dead, you can bring back Steve Owen. Go on, it'll be great, any chance Steve Owen might have made it out of the car after all asked another. A third begged, Come on EastEnders, do the right thing and bring back Steve Owen. We don't care if he's meant to be dead. People get resurrected on this program all the time. Last year, actress Tamsin said, I'd love my ex-husband to return but he's dead. She then teased to the son, I do think he could have got out in that three seconds and rolled underneath the car. Could Steve casually return to Walford and reunite with his family? Would like to see him get his revenge on Phil as well. Steve Isnt the only dead character that EastEnders fans are begging to make a return. They're also holding on for a miraculous fat boy Ricky Norwood resurrection. The fan favorite was Ed off when Ronnie Mitchell's Samantha Womack henchman locked him in a car boot and then crushed the vehicle with him stuck inside it. On says know that it's not out of the ordinary for the Beeb Soap to play God. Dirty Den Watts Leslie Grantham was resurrected in 2003 after surviving a shooting back in 1989. Catch East Enders tonight at 7.30pm on BBC One.